So hi YouTube, it's Curly Lisa Victoria. I wanted to come on here and make a quick video to say hi to all my subscribers. And um, if you guys have been viewing my videos, then I definitely want to say thank you. I do not have on any makeup right now as I, um, geez, I don't feel like grabbing everything. I said I was gonna try to make a Instagram or YouTube video basically showing you guys what I had to take after LASIK, like my eye drops, the, um, Hydro eye um, pills that they have me taking, which are really to prevent dry eyes and um, all of that stuff. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think right next to me I have a box of one of my eye drops. Um, my blink tears. Oh, I think they're in here, but my capsules and everything else is in the other room, and I really don't want to have to go get it. But here are a few of my blink tears, which I need to do better at using these. I've been using them, but not as, like, look, I got two rows of these. I've probably only used, like, two of these. Mind you, I have, like, another box this big and a smaller box that I still have to go through. So I need to get a little bit better at using these. My goal is to try and get through one, two, at least one to two of these a day for the next, like, two weeks. Um, I know it might look like a lot. You can kind of see. Where they're like these are like half full if you can really see they're not filled to the top I'm trying to give you guys a, You kind of can see that they're like halfway full. Maybe you can't because it's clear, but basically these are just some of the um, Eye drops that they ask for you to take after your LASIK. I um, Also have the medicated inflammation anti-inflammation drops which they tell me to discard those after seven days um, of usage after the surgery so I am on day 28 29 31 2 3 I'm on day six so tomorrow will be day seven for me um, and I should discard after tomorrow so I'm gonna do my best to I've been using those medicated anti-inflammation drops like as I should it says four times a day um, after the procedure so I've been doing that four times every day I'm gonna try to finish those off tomorrow um, even if I have to do five drops or six drops tomorrow and today I will so I can use up my whole bottle because I don't want to throw away my bottle and haven't used it up because then it makes me feel like well gee maybe my computer light is really okay um, then that'll make me feel like well maybe um, I didn't, you know, put enough drops in my eyes if I have leftover. But then again, it might be perfectly normal to have leftover. I don't know. But both ways, I, um, oh, my light's off. My light just died. Oh my gosh, my LED light. Um, that's why my video just kind of dimmed down a little bit. So in the beginning, if it was a little brighter, it's because my little LED light that is on my phone case, because I am filming off of my phone right now um just that so i have to charge it um so basically yeah that's what i've been doing right now i kind of feel like i've eaten a little bit i legit have half my meal left which was um potatoes broccoli and salmon i literally have half of that meal left because i just didn't eat it but my forehead feels like it is on fire don't think i have a fever I don't know I'm not gonna check I'm not even gonna like get into all that but my forehead is like burning up um and my house is pretty cool so don't know but basically just a little update on LASIK everything is going well um it's amazing how you can do you know you get worked up over surgeries and you get worked up over procedures and things like that and it's like LASIK is a whole 10 minutes and the fact that you can presume to your regular life pretty much four hours after is amazing. You know, like in the beginning, like I said, it was hard for me to keep my eyes open at some point um, on the way home. But once I slept it off for about four or five hours, <sighs> excuse me, when I woke up, I was able to start watching TV and stuff like that. Today, I did slip into the gym. I know they say don't go hard, you know, like into a workout in that first week. Or whatever because they don't want you to get sweat in your ears your eyes as your eyes are trying to heal back um you know from the flap that they that they had to cut they want that to have to come back you know like grow back naturally as everything should so they want you to keep from rubbing your eyes which surprisingly 
I did not like there was one time where I was sleepy so I wanted to naturally rub my eyes because I was getting sleepy but other than that I didn't have any times where I felt like I needed to rub my eyes because like of burning or anything when I put the solution in my eyes if it does burn for a second I dab around my eye with my paper my, with my to uh, tissue and then like I can fan if I feel like it's burning but I don't really have that problem um, if you look in this eye, I think you could see the red right about, hold on, I'm trying to see how, to, how do you stare into the camera so you can see out there, right here. It's like a red dot, you probably saw it. Anyway, that was like dark, that was like brighter red, but that has dimmed down and it's dimming down. Um, I guess it's from the suctions they put on our eyes that that kind of puts what they call um, um, eye hickeys on our eyeballs so if you see this one is red right there and then if you see here probably can't see it but on the bottom of the eyeball right there you can see it's still red so these haven't cleared at all well they've they've mild down they're not as red as they were you know during that day but both sets of eyes are going down from that redness um like i said i could see the next day perfectly good um so if they tell you you know two weeks three months or whatever for your vision to improve i'm only going to get better from what i can see so i'm just trying to stick to the you know literally be by the book on everything they tell me i'm not trying to dodge the system i'm trying to be by the book because your eyes are sensitive you only have one pair of eyes and the last thing i want to do is mess up my eyes after a procedure by not following directions so like i said i slipped into the gym today i probably should have waited until after tomorrow or the day after but i wanted to slip in the gym because i feel like i have not been able to slip into the gym since i did this and mind you it's about a week that you have to give up not wearing makeup a week that you have to give up um basically not sweating in your eyes and stuff like that but of course afterwards you want to continue to practice procedures of um, making sure that you take care of your eyes and things like that but as far as everything else goes I was able <sighs> excuse me I'm so tired gotta write more papers but I was able to presume to my regular life I just had gotten a message basically saying no softball practice if you guys do follow any of my other videos then you know that I'm doing a little softball league um, and we do not have practice right now until further notice so that actually saved me because I was gonna have to request not to go to practice this week because I can't get fully sweat and get stuff in my eyes so that was a lifesaver that I did not have to um go to practice and then the next thing is um what else oh <sighs> So my vision's getting better. I have papers to write for grad school. I was up late, late last night writing papers and doing things. So right now I'm about to work on a few papers. It's crazy how tired I am. And every time I tell myself you're going to get your papers in, it's like this, this haze of sleepiness falls over me. So I'm striving, striving, striving to get these final assignments in. Um, so I can conclude my MBA program, but if you guys are following my channel, make sure you guys click subscribe um, I hope this video did justice for someone who's looking to get LASIK if you've already gotten LASIK Be sure to share your experience um, Guys, I will be coming back soon with more videos and we're definitely going to talk about being successful I've been reading, you know, great books and doing good research and um, You know audios and clips and things like that listening to guest speakers and things like that when it comes down to me being successful so i will be sharing those tips and tricks with you guys soon um i'm just gonna upload this video and if you guys want to comment make sure you comment below follow my social media at Kralisa victoria collection at Kralisa victoria um and also at um Kralisa victoria on facebook i'll drop that in the description box below um guys for you who see me in person or maybe even on my social media oh i like your nails like where do you, who does your acrylics? My nails aren't acrylics, guys. My nails are actually my real nails. Um, I get my, my nails done like dip powder. So dip powder is actually the type of powder that they use on acrylics, but it's on your real nails. So that's how I get my nails. These are my nails. They are real. The claws are mine. Um, but no, guys, thank you so much for following my channel. And I hope that you who are watching this video who haven't clicked the subscribe button, We'll click the subscribe button today. 
Okay? All right. Thank you, guys. Till next time. Bye-bye.